Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. I do beauty, Bible, and lifestyle here on my channel. You get new videos every week. So if you are interested in any of those, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. There's not very many questions, so I thought I'd finally film this Q&A. And we are also going to try out a few of the makeup products that were requested for me to try. So, let me see. Okay, so I posted this back in October. It is December 6th, so we are just going to go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and start applying our makeup. Anyways, I only have about an hour to film, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so the first question was, what are your top three favorite moments of um, October? You know what, since I did this in October, we're gonna act like this was done. Anyways, what are your top, anyways. First question was, what are your top three favorite memories of last month? So my top three favorite memories are that we were approved to buy a home and our offer was accepted on a home, so we are finishing that process. That is probably my number one favorite memory. My, num my second favorite memory in the last couple of months is that Brian and I celebrated our five year anniversary. I promise you guys, like we did not, not even that we didn't think we were gonna make it, but there was some hard times. I mean, you know, a lot of people say like, oh, it's later on in your marriage whenever it gets hard. Heck no heck freaking no i feel like those first two years of your marriage is like we either gonna make it or we not years of your marriage because whoo that was hard but that was probably my second favorite thing and then my third favorite thing of the last couple of months um just being able to see all of my nieces and nephews and be able to spend Thanksgiving with them and see them and take them, even though there was a mishap where we did take them to celebrate, but it was all good. Um, King ended up getting a, a hairline fracture in his leg, so that was not fun, but your favorite DIY project in the last couple of months? I have not done one. Um, I did make a little hot cocoa bar. I don't know if that counts, um, like a hot cocoa chocolate candy bar I made one of those not sure if that counts but I did it and it was really really fun okay so I just wanted to show you guys because I talked about it here recently about this undone beauty flawless brow thing like I just I need you guys to see how intense this is and why I don't really like it but we're gonna do brows while we keep answering questions because this makeup look is my everyday makeup look. I get it done in like 10 to 15 minutes if I'm not talking and I'm just moving and grooving along. Okay, that's the best it's gonna get. So the next question was, what are you looking forward to this month? <laughs> um, main thing I'm looking forward to is moving into our possible forever home and we're not sure yet, but definitely moving into our first home that is ours. Like. This is ours, like we're not paying it to benefit someone else. Like this is going to benefit us in the long run. Like that is probably the number one thing. And I do have a vlog on the whole process and it's gonna be completely different. The packing process, the moving process, all the homes we looked at and things like that is all in a separate vlog. That's why you haven't seen it in my regular vlog. So if you've been wondering what the big secret is, like that's what it is, is that we finally are buying our first home. Um, but, um, yeah not sure when this is going up but since brian let it slip in a vlog and i had been keeping it from me i was like well may as well tell them about it if he's comfortable telling that's why i hadn't been saying anything about it because i didn't know how brian felt but he said it in a, in a vlog of us um i think i was showing you all the groceries or something and he was like um oh i can't wait to move into our new house and i don't know if anybody caught it but yeah he he gave it away he gave it away <laughs> So that's what I'm looking forward to the most this month and then it says any goals you have this month honestly my main goal for this month is to stay off of cut back on my time on social media um a lot myself time probably just about 30 minutes at a time because I have been spending 
way too much time on social media so much time that i not that i wasn't being productive because i was making a ton of tiktoks but i like it would take up out of my time of sitting down to film for you guys it's not that i haven't been able to it's just that i've spent all my time making tiktoks and not uh stuff for um what is it called not what word am i looking for not content for youtube that's the word and so I'm not saying I'm a vlog, you know, like I'm going to try to get better at it, do better and just limit myself on social media, like on TikToks and stuff like that, because this is my first um, love YouTube. So I do really want to stick to that. I am finally learning how to work this pin and I love it. But man, the first couple of times is it for now on the brows and then, um, but yeah. That is what I'm most ex or that's my main goal and then to get back into my working out routine because when I tell you that's how much me being on TikTok scrolling not making content but scrolling and Instagram and Snapchat like that is definitely something I'm going to be fasting in January as a part of our yearly fast um, is social media or how much time I'm allowing myself definitely gonna have to cut back um, it's kind of hard to completely cut out social media doing what I do and where I want to be really hard but I think I can do it I'm gonna cut back a ton probably only post and not allow myself to scroll <clears throat> because yeah like just taking up way too much time this is the it cosmetics uh mascara and I don't know how I feel about it I really don't it's like I love it some days and other days I hate it and we're just going back and forth with the feelings of this yeah, going in with a different mascara to separate those out. I don't know what's different today about this. Ew. Braces, I tell you. Braces make you spit everywhere. Um, what is another goal that I have for this month? Oh, yeah, I was saying to get back into working out. Like, that's how much me scrolling on social media was affecting is I stopped working out literally for like a week and a half. So we're going to get back into working out. I started back Saturday night. I was doing some workouts before bed. And then this week, um, my sister was able to start working out after having her baby. And so to keep us both motivated, we are working out together virtually over facetime and i'm like just training her you know helping her take it easy like easing back into it so she don't get like hernia or anything like that like i did working out and um eating better i fell off the wagon of that too so getting back into eating a little bit better and then yeah that's it pretty much it for this month tried any new recipes lately um not really i have not tried any new recipes um Everything I cook, I kind of just throw together. For instance, I got some lobster raviolis from Costco and used like a pesto kale alfredo sauce. It was really good. And But I don't know what's going on with me and pasta right now, but my appetite is just not for it. I keep cooking it and then like I eat it and it smells good and it looks delicious and I want to eat it. But when I eat it, it kind of like, mm, I don't really want this, but I finish it because I, we don't waste food in this house. But no, I haven't really tried any new recipes. Today I'm making chili and cornbread and I'm going to be trying a honey cornbread. I think that'll be really good. So that'll be something new. Need to go wet my sponge again because that's how long it's been. All right, so I have been doing my makeup every day. So this is just like literally my everyday makeup look. Um, I'm trying to use up products. It feels so good to be using them up. So I'm using the, you see how much product I've used of the Pretty Fresh foundation so you guys are seeing because i've been doing the fly lady method and getting doing my makeup every single morning you are seeing exactly what i do every single morning if you've been liking my makeup and my tiktoks or my stories like this is the this is the makeup look i do every day some days i have eyeshadow some days i don't um okay so the next question was do you have a favorite tiktoker um not really i just have things that i like so i like clean talk i like the aesthetically pleasing tiktoks <laughs> um and i like cooking tiktok and it's pretty much it but i don't really have like a favorite one i just kind of have like a genre that i like and mostly that's like cleaning and people like restocking their houses like asmr style and that's kind of what i started doing on tiktok so yeah so if you like like cleaning and like ASMR cleaning sounds, that's kind of what I've been doing on my TikTok. So go follow me. 
One thing I like about TikTok is it's kind of like YouTube, but it's shorter videos. But it's shorter videos, but there truly is something out there for everybody. And the next question is, did you struggle with anything in the last couple of months? And if so, what helped you? Um, honestly, I was struggling a lot with just feeling valued. And it's like, not that anybody was intentionally making me feel undervalued, but, and it was a lot of misunderstanding, but it honestly just taught, took communicating with those around me and things like that. And also taking time to reflect and pray and okay, like what's really going on here, Allie? Like, are you just really being neglected? Are you really being forgotten? Or is the enemy just kind of lying to you to kind of stir up things? And I feel like that's really what it was. Yeah, I was just really struggling with it, that and then like just a lot, a lot of family stuff and I don't show it and I don't talk about it because most of it's not my business to tell. But yeah, I'm just like figuring out things within my family and um, my mom's side of the family, not like my marriage, but like my mom's side of the family. And I don't know, it's just a lot sometimes, but honestly, I, I don't think about it. Like, not that I don't care about it, but like I'll pray about it and I forget about it because that's what the word of God tells us to do is to cast your cares. And whenever you cast something into the sea, like you're not supposed to keep dwelling on it. You're not supposed to keep thinking about it. You're just kind of like, okay, God, like this is my issue. I'm trusting you to take care of it. Now I'm going to go about life and apply what you tell me to apply and do what you tell me to do and i feel like the situation will figure itself out and every time it has <clears throat> i i know that's not what a lot of people like to hear because not a lot of people are believers but it is truly just praying about the situation leaving it there at the at the foot of the cross at jesus feet and just reminding myself of god's promises to me okay hey look god said i don't have to be anxious god said i don't have to worry about tomorrow because he provides for even the birds of the air, the animals, he clothes the lilies in the valley. Like, he's what makes things grow. Like, if he takes care of things that weren't designed to go and spread his gospel and his good news, like, how much more would he take care of me, someone that he loves, something that was created in his image? How much more does he care about me? So I'm going to be okay. And that's just really what it was, you guys. Like, just truly, solely relying on God. Like, that. that's it. That's it. Like that's that's how I fix everything. And then again, just totally having a good support system around you. So Raquel, I love you. And um, even all that you go through, you're going through. Like you've been there for me a ton. And what seems like my tiny com prob problems compared to what you go through, but you've been there for me a ton. My husband, even though like sometimes he's what's making me feel not him making me but like my mind saying like oh your husband's against you like you know satan just loves to get in your head and try to pin you against your spouse and like and i'm sure my husband goes through that all the time with me and you know we just communicate about it so just having a strong support system my sister my sister is asking them for prayer and that's my main thing is putting my pride down and asking other people for prayer um, that is something that I did not do because when I used to ask people for prayer, I felt like everybody just had something to say. Like, I don't need your advice. I'm just asking you to pray for me. And now I'm so thankful that I'm surrounded by so many people that I can just say, hey, this is what I'm going through. This is what I'm applying. And I just ask that you ask that you pray for this. And they're like, okay, done. And like, just know I'm here if you need anything. And like, that's what I wanted. And that is what I finally got. And I'm so so thankful for God who has who God has placed in my life and who he has removed from my life so so thankful for what books are you reading right now none I mean other than the Bible and that's only because I'm doing my read and write the word um daily this month is going over the birth of Christ December and then um doing reading my proverbs a day so for the numbers like today's December 6th I'll read proverbs 6 tomorrow's the 7th I'll read proverbs 7 so on and so forth and that's pretty much all I'm reading right now. Oh, and my BSF work, and that's still the Bible. So, all of chapter Matthew, all of chapter, all of the book of Matthew. Not all in one day, but chapter by chapter. That's how I'm reading it. And that is that. So, that is all I'm reading right now. What are the most memorable, what was your most memorable service at church last month? 
Um, honestly, it wasn't really like a church service, but <clears throat> our church had someone that they have come out often and teach like marital classes, parenting classes. Well, this year he came out and did a parenting class and it just, you know, parenting is hard. But anyways, parenting is really hard, especially whenever you're trying to break, be the one that breaks all the generational curses and break the cycle of the way parenting is done. Like it's really, really hard. And so it's really good to have someone with another, like another Christian with their Christian perspective, who's years down the line in parenting, come out and just teach you and say, and a lot of things were just affirmed of the way Brian were and I were doing things to kind of just let us know, like, hey, you guys are doing like awesome. And then of course there was things that we could fix. And so, yeah, we're just taking those, but that was probably the most memorable thing. And it's like I said, um, we, we wanna break the cycle. We don't wanna keep doing the same old, same old because obviously like it it's broken. So something new needs to be done. And so that is what we have been doing. Going in with the undone warm up bronzer. Or actually, you know, let's use Little Rock Petite Pro and we're gonna take these two. And you don't need a lot of these. <clears throat> but yeah, that was probably my most memorable thing that I learned through church last month was just parenting and what to do, how to handle situations, encouraged in the things that I'm already doing that are correct and things like that. Okay, and next question is, what is your dream vacation? Um, to be on a beach somewhere or up in the cabins, in the mountain, in the cabins, up in the mountains in a cabin where, when it's snowing, doing absolutely nothing. Like Brian and I both agree on that. Like a vacation is not going out and sightseeing. A vacation to us is like going somewhere that's not our town and doing absolutely nothing other than maybe some shopping and eating. Like that's it. Like that's our dream vacation is to be anywhere but here doing absolutely nothing. Taking this Jaclyn Hill one. Um, next question. What is something you enjoy doing for fun? Do you have any hobbies? Um, I like to go to Target. Um, it's kind of it. I do like to, when my makeup's not packed, do like colorful eye looks and stuff like that. And actually like do like artsy things with my makeup. I really like to do that. It's probably like the one and only hobby that I have. Going Now I'm going in with this and I'm gonna use the highlighter side. But that's pretty much it. Who are your top three favorite YouTubers? Um, my sister, who is at Among Stouts, and it's because I'm about to start homeschooling, so a lot of her videos are about to start getting put into practice for me. Because after December 17th, which starts Christmas break, my babies will be homeschooled. They will not be returning back to public school. So yeah, her. Um, who else? Who have I been loving? Um, I like Alexis Jada. I really love her story times. It's just so crazy to think that she was so young when this was happening. And I'm just like, ugh, I wish you were my friend because me and my mom would have took you in because my mom took in any of my friends that needed a place to stay. So there's that. Um, and who else? Um, I guess just Leela because she's the only one that I watch consistently and keep up with. So I guess Leela my sister and Alexis Jada right now. Um, and then I feel like I always say it, but Bailey Sarian and Stephanie Sue, those are kind of given still for true crime, so yeah. What is the best Bible study you completed? It had to be last year, doing BSF, going through the entire book of Genesis. So many things in Genesis that I overlooked or hadn't heard of, and I'm just like, what in the what? Like, man, they were wild and out in Genesis. And I'm just like, y'all were had someone who was speaking directly to God's audible voice. And y'all could not obey. But then I'm like, how many times have I been taught something from someone who received this answer from God to give me and I do not answer? Like, I do not listen. And so it's just along those lines. And it's just like, I don't know. Like, how can I really talk about them? And I mean, I'm not doing any better. 
<clears throat> but yeah, definitely the entire book of Genesis through BSF was life changing. What is your favorite workout style? Probably more of like a Tabata type slash hit style. So I count my reps. So I usually do about a minute worth. It usually takes me about a minute to do 10 to 15 reps of whatever I'm doing. And then rest for 15 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds, and then get right back into it. So kind of that. So kind of like a hit slash Tabata style, but with strength training mostly and a little bit of cardio. So yeah, that's probably my favorite workout style. Okay, and then if you could have only one makeup product for the rest of your life, what is it? Brows. Hands down brows. I feel like whenever I just do my brows, I already look 10 times better. So, brows. Hands down. And how do you keep your curly hair healthy? I only wash it once a week. I wear it down um, as many days as possible before it just gets un untamable possible uh, down and then um, I use as little products as possible that don't have alcohol in them I'm not like and I use moisturizing and condition shampoo and conditioner I don't really use anything specifically for curly hair other than my styling products and I use an argon oil on my hair washing days but that's pretty much all I do. Like, it's nothing fancy. And then just, you know, like I trim it like once every six months. And that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> Let me just set my brows. And then we are done. So yeah, no alcohol in your hair products. If you do, very little. Um, moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, argon oil on wash days, and wear my hair down as much as I possibly can. What is your favorite makeup brand, high-end and drugstore? Ooh. Drugstore? Um, at the moment, dang. Okay, so when I go to the drugstore, whose makeup do I like to look at? For whatever reason, Milani, even though I don't have a lot of Milani makeup, for sure Milani at the moment. High-end, for sure Rare Beauty. Definitely Rare Beauty. I mean, I'm not biased because it's Selena Gomez or anything, but <laughs> Rare Beauty. See, and your hair doesn't always look perfect when it's curly. Like, look at this. Didn't even get product everywhere in my hair. Got all this dryness. All right, King, you're gonna have to wait. I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair today. Probably like twisty it back like this or something. Yeah, probably like that. Like that sounds like a plan. Yeah, those are my two favorite makeup brands. And that is it for the questions. And this is it for the makeup. And I really feel like I'm not gonna have to edit too much. So that's cool. And it took me about 30 minutes. So like I said, when I'm not talking and answering questions, 10 to 15 minutes. Definitely using the wrong setting spray. Yeah, All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah. Sorry, I've been MIA. I promise I'm going to do better. Like I said, limiting my time on social media so that way I can get actual work done and then trying to stay encouraged doing YouTube because it's been very discouraging lately. So yeah, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to be a part of my next Q&A, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and Snapchat at beauty and underscore Bible. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. Bye guys. Mwah!